<laughs> you got it, man. You got it. I was totally doing. All right. Who's this fucking Basil Marceau? It's a Republican candidate for governor. In Tennessee. In Tennessee. And he did a little something for a, yeah, you know, the, a news channel you know, down there. Uh, you know, guys who are running for office, they'll go on their local news, and you kind of get a vibe for them, and they, they'll kind of talk about their platform and what they're all about. Sure. Right. And this was Basil's big TV uh, appearance. I'm glad you just said that, because... I was watching one of the news networks, and they had Linda McMahon, who's uh, running for what? Uh, governor of Connecticut, is it? Or what, what is she doing? Is she running for Senate? Um, not uh, Senate. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Senate. And, and I think her, like her, her opponent was on TV with her. Why wouldn't you just turn and go, hey, you killed somebody? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. She was working for the WWF. She when, didn't kill anyone. When, when poor Owen Hart fucking fell to his death. She was a uh, member of an organization that, where somebody uh, had a horrible accident. Yeah, but if you don't pay your parking tickets, they'll fucking hang you up, right? Yeah, but, you know, it's Are they going to use that in the campaign, you think? She's just the wife. What's she doing? She's Vince just, ran the show. Uh, I, I heard she was no. the big dog in that company. Oh, really? Here's uh, Basil Marceau. I'm BasilMarceau.com, your Republican candidate for governor. Uh -oh. It's fucking Mayor Menino. <laughs> uh -oh. This is Mayor Menino. I'm BasilMarceau.com, your Republican candidate for governor. I'd like to recall all permits and registrations for guns. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. And uh, I'd like to put... <laughs> wait, wait. Is that who she's running wait against? Wait a minute. Is that, <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that the guy? <laughs> he looks like a bum. <laughs> Basil Marceau is an ass. <laughs> Look at this guy. Holy shit. He's like, a, he's like an SNL fucking character. <laughs> yeah, fucking does. rules. <laughs> Want to just play it off, uh, off over there? Yes, yeah, so we can see what he what he. Should we start with uh, what the news readers say? Yeah, let's yeah, just let's start the setup from the beginning. I want right, to know well, the setup. this week, Channel 4 is working for you to help you make a choice in the governor's primary race. This As part of that commitment, we have given all five candidates from the two major parties time during our news to let you know where they stand in their own words about the topics of their choosing. That's right, and the order was chosen by random They're drawing tonight seriously. to hear from Basil yeah. Marceau. I'm BasilMarceau.com, your Republican candidate for governor. I'd like to recall all permits and registration for guns. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. And uh, I'd like to put uh, plant grass or vegetation across the, the state or any vacant lot and sell it for gas so we can use it, use it for our expenses. What? Also, I'm going to remove all gold fringe flags from the state. I plow the real flag with three stripes. I also want to stop traffic what? stops. Set it up like the Supreme Court rule in Nolan versus Iowa. He pauses for one out. second. Well, I'm, I'm mesmerized. This he's, guy needs a drink so badly, first of all. To lose to this guy, you'd have to just go, cunt, fuck, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> How could you lose to this guy? <laughs> I'm more pissed that the news is taking this seriously instead of saying, wait till you get a load of this bum. What is he talking about <laughs> with the grass in the vacant lots? He said something about he wants to plant grass or vegetation in vacant lots and then sell those... Sell it for gas. For gas. For gas. <laughs> Holy shit! And what he wants to it's, recall? It's, it sounds all like the gun permits. An always sunny episode. Recall yes. all gun permits, so everyone can just have guns, and then if you get murdered, you go to jail. I, I don't. We're gonna have to decipher this. I, it's I, very I really, difficult. I just don't know. He really looks like, like a a bum. He looks like someone Andy Griffith locks up every weekend. <laughs> Ernest T. Bass or something. Oh, very good. I was going to go with the father from Arthur, almost. A little bit, but yeah. this guy is just unintelligible. And needs a goddamn drink. You could tell. Yeah, he's a little nervous. All right, hit it. I backed it up a while. Yeah, away, so. yeah that's fine. I don't care. I'm BasilMarceau.com, the Republican candidate for governor. Governor. I'd like to recall all permit and registration for guns. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. And uh, I like to put plant grass or vegetation across the state or any vacant lot and sell it for gas so we can use it, use it for our expenses. Also, I'm going to remove all gold fringe flags from the state and plow the real flag with three stripes. I also want to stop traffic stops, set it up like the Supreme Court rule in Nose versus Iowa. Can't find Emerson's car, you can't look. I want you all to vote 
for Basil Marceau, and which said a pledge of allegiance to a republic in the morning when you come out. And we all pray to God and say amen. And everyone have a nice day. And I'll see you all at the polls. Thank you. Have a nice day. How? <laughs> I've never Please seen. Tell me there's more. I've never seen anybody with less of a chance at winning anything. <laughs> anything. That guy, and it, 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 the audio is great, but does not even do it justice. You must look up this guy on, on uh, YouTube. I want everybody to pray to God and smite Jews <laughs> <laughs> and remove Negroes <laughs> <laughs> because they are a scourge that have cursed the earth. God bless. I want the, the flag with three stars. Or stripes. Three stripes. With three stripes or free stripes. What was he saying? I have no idea. But I don't know. French flag. Every what French was he flag. saying about traffic stops? Traffic stops. Only the good cars with the car guards get to stop and look. <laughs> yeah, but without evidence, they can't search you. <laughs> because I want to have gas and sell it for expenses. For expenses. <laughs> but you'll get murdered. <laughs> you get murdered and you go to jail. I want to. And then he's plant grass on empty lots. Or vegetation. I want to make the penalty for baby crying to be that we smother it with a pillow <laughs> so no one could hear crying no more. Basil Marceau sounds like a Jimmy character anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Why are you I'm Basil Marceau? I'm Basil Marceau. Why are you pr mispronouncing his name? Oh, I'm sorry. It's BasilMarceau.com. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Basil Marceau. My name is Basil Marceau. <laughs> dot com. It's, what's really amazing is that a man of my obvious stupidity could spell my last name, which has an E, a U, and an X in it. Yeah, Marceau. <laughs> it's French. I'm from the French Quarter. Yeah. Is there any more Basil Marceau anywhere on the internet? There should be nothing but him on there, the internet. They should just yeah wipe out every he other video. Internet. He is the internet. Well, there yes. is one with subtitles. We could try that one. I'd love it. It's probably the same one, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm sure. It's Fuck. How is there not more of this guy speaking? We're doing anything. Well, go to basilmarceau.com. Maybe there's a video yeah. on there. Yeah, that's his name. See, why Why is the uh, paparazzi following the fucking Jersey Shore cast when they Fuck can find this guy? Basil Marceau. And putting out fucking video clips every, every hour. This guy rules like no other. We're ruling out no other. Hey, uh, uh, get Steve to to get him on the phone. Why don't we just talk to him personally? Oh God, yes. Why don't we just talk to the man himself? The Greg and Tony show. Someone's saying, to. look at his website. You have to. Yeah, we're going right now. Okay. His website is a freesitenow.com website. Oh no. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, so that means we're like never going to get old, on like, it. It's like one of those old like GeoCities websites, you know? Yeah. Is that his website? And uh, <laughs> and he has an excite.com email address. I, hold on, let me read a little thing here. Right. I, Basil Marceau Sr., as a Force Recon Marine, is the first Freedman's oh, Bureau agent, great man of 2008. What? No way, this guy. He was a Marine? Did he get a shell in the head? Who's asking for your uh, support and votes from the following Republican... Position. Position. Did he spell position wrong? Holy shit! This isn't real. It could. He couldn't be this stupid of a man. You make the court system. Make the court system. Congress, Army, Navy, Air Force to fly the same flag as the Marine Corps, which is the three-color U.S. flag. Uh, make sure that if national insurance is put in place, I will make sure. I'm reading this verbatim. The roots of such bill with not include any type of measuring of the waste like other countries. So you could be as fat and unsightly as I am. As Basil Marceau, using the Civil Rights Act of 1966 for the first time in history to find out two things. Why democracy invaded the U.S. state on July 16, 1866. Two... Stop constitutional right violations in our state at all costs. I will tell you all this. Vote for me, and if I win, I will immune you from all state crimes for the rest of your life. Oh, this is a good Except okay. violating a citizen rights to the would-be a special punishment, making Tennessee the first state 
in the United States to actually listen to the U.S. and state constitution and all cities charters. This can't be real. But how did the guy get on the news? To me, Fair, can we see the news clip again? Did they? Did somebody? Did somebody? Did someone edit in? All right, well, all this week, Channel 4 is working for you to help you make a choice I, I, in the governor's oh. primary race. As part of that commitment, we have given all five candidates from the two major parties time during our news to let you know where they stand, in their own words, about the topics of their choosing. That's right, and the order was chosen by random drawing tonight. We hear from Basil Marceau. They're interested. I'm BasilMarceau.com, the Republican candidate for governor. I'd like to recall all permit and registration for guns. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. And uh, I like to put uh, plant grass or vegetation across the, the state where any vacant lot and sell it for gas. Is he just so a retard for our that decided he's going to run? I'm going to remove all gold flames. It looks flags legit, no? I fly the real flag with three stripes. I also want to stop traffic stops. Set it up like the Supreme Court rule in Nose versus Iowa. If you can't find an innocent car, you can't look. If you can't find an innocent car, you can't look. For Basil Marcel, I want you to say the Pledge of Allegiance to a Republic in the morning when you come out. And we all pray to God and say amen. And everyone have a nice day. And I see you all at the polls. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. You have a nice day. Do you think we have a, a new number one? Does he beat out Paul R. Nelson? I am officially Is he the number one? backing Basil Marceau. What about they uh, They drink pretty good? Uh, no. This I, politician is uh, better? This guy is the best guy? ever, and I am officially um, backing him. Uh, I am, uh, this is an official endorsement by Anthony. I hope the entire Opie and Anthony show can get on board with Basil Marceau, and uh, let's back him. Let's push for this candidate, and hopefully we'll have better luck than uh, Paul R. Nelson. He's a good man. Yeah. We're looking up his number. Oh, do I want to talk to him? Oh, my so God. Badly. I so want him on the phone right now. <laughs> I so want him on the fucking phone. I've never wanted to talk to anybody <laughs> yeah. as badly. Yes, we have Basil Marceau on the phone. He's in Australia <laughs> campaigning. We have Basil T's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we have Marcel Marceau on the phone. It's very quiet. <laughs> it's a mime joke. Get it? <laughs> I'm just looking at Obama on the view. Huh? Obama's on the view. He's huh? doing it Thursday. It's well, he's video, officially yeah. started campaigning again. He's campaigning. That's, That's what he's doing. That's crazy. That's For so... Democrats in general. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good luck. Good luck to you. You think that's him? Could be. Was it the same number? No. Figures. Danny's good, though. Finding this well, shit. No, we had another dead end from the listeners. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Well, not necessarily. Good job. Yeah, uh, let me see it again. I'll, I'll, I'll forward that one along as well. Basil yeah. Marceau. Hang on. Is it close? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Eric goes the same. <laughs> so no, <laughs> so uh, no one will have to... Will be accused okay. of any crimes? What? I don't get his platform there. Well, you get murdered and go to jail if you shoot somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hmm. that's weird. I like him. I like him. In that order. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's a little weird. His pace of myself sounds like he's playing without a whole lot of uh, basil in the spice rack. All right. No, we're just making sure that the address matched up on what his website says. Oh, so this is um, this is his. Oh, info. he tweets too, by the way. Marceau twenty ten, on Twitter. Oh boy! And he's on Facebook. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go take a look. This guy is great. I so want to talk to him immediately. Well, we're we're calling some numbers, so let's yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Oh, God, Do you like please. Basil Marceau? Please. Oh, he rules. Love this guy. <laughs> he fucking rules. How do you spell it? His Twitter. M-A-R-C-E-A-U-X. Oh, I actually spelled his name wrong. He could probably even spell it. Makes you really uh, stupid. Uh, 
what happened. We're trying a second number. Second Ooh. number? First one dead end? Uh, yeah, so. Well, not necessarily. It's a fax, apparently. So <laughs> we're going to try it. A fax? Oh. He has no chance of winning. He is the number one candidate in my book. He ha First of all, he looks like John Fox, the comedian, and he has eight followers. <laughs> no way. He's yeah, got not, eight not after followers. Today, my I'm friend. calling Bravo Sierra. This is a goof. Yeah? This is not real. How did he b goof the news like that? Because maybe, maybe... He sounded, like, legit there's beforehand. A, or sound maybe legit? There's, maybe they, they, there is a real Basil Marceau who's a candidate, but he has just superimposed this video because they're not in the same room. But you room. would think you'd see Basil Marceau, the real Basil Marceau, if you put his name in, if he's running. You're yeah, thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're thinking too good to be true? I know this is bullshit. The, uh, the, uh, the Basil Marceau, the real Basil Marceau. He has a YouTube page. Really? I Basil Marceau. Thing. I think we have him. Yeah? yeah. Troy is talking right. to him right now. On the air right now. He says it sounds exactly okay. like him. All right, let's get him. Uh, we're out of New York City on Satellite Radio, the Opie and Anthony show. Well, Huge we, in Tennessee. We reached Tennessee. Reach Tennessee. So, I, he's he's going to go on there. All right, hang on one second. I'll take you on there okay. right now. Hang on. Go. Mr. Marceau. Yes. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony show, Hi. sir. How are you? Thank you for inviting me. Fine. Well, um... We uh, saw your, your campaign... Uh, and we've only seen one ad on you, sir, but it, it seems like you really are uh, kind of getting to the root of the issues that concern a lot of people. Yes. I want everybody to know that I'm, the, the YouTube plants me as an idiot or stupid or that, mentally tortured. Well, that's crazy. I'm not. That's I'm, crazy. I am the real. I'm the real McCoy. Well, that's. I'm. I'm uh, listening to your platform and. Uh, I like the idea about the guns. Uh, I'm a, a strong uh, advocate of uh, the Second Amendment myself. Could you elaborate a little more on your uh, stance on uh, uh, guns and gun control, sir? Well, I believe after I read the Constitution about 23 times, it comes to that we have a right to bear arms against our government. And I guess between now and then, we included hunting and self-protection. Mm-hmm. So I would, I would want to recall all the gun permits and registration, allow every citizen to have one, and I really think if I, if I were right, maybe I'll even fine them ten dollars if they don't have one. Oh, uh, fine somebody I, ten bucks I, if they I, don't have a gun. Yeah, because I want them to come to Nashville uh, with their guns. I hope the first time they come without bullets, uh, and then that means at least twenty five of them, because that's how many people nominated me to be there. Uh, and then we, once they come with guns, that means showing them how serious they are. Then we'll put it, I'll put it in a, in a meeting. And of course, you know, the citizens run to our government, uh, so mm -hmm. they, they, they would have more say than my committee. Absolutely. I officially call and, Bravo Sierra too. But if, but if, let me, let me uh, clarify one thing that I made a mistake on. Yes. In that one minute segment. Yes. It was really fast. And was that the murder part? What I actually meant to say was, I have to put you in jail, and then I would have to murder you if you killed someone. Oh, so if you kill somebody, oh. you're for the death penalty. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're tough on uh, you're yeah. tough on crime. I, I, like, I, well, I would say, I would like to say the way you killed someone is the way you're going to go, but I don't know if I can do that or not. Well, they do have that. Them. You know, if wacky. We them, but we have all these people out here that fight stuff like that. I mean, but if you kill someone by suffocation, that's the way you need to go. Oh, so you're for killing them the same way they killed somebody else, regardless. That would be a great deterrent. Yeah, but, you know, we do, we do have that uh, cruel, and, cruel and unusual punishment uh, thing in the, the Constitution, so that might not uh, fly. Well, well, I know. Now, what about uh, the grass? What about the grass you're talking in the empty lots? Well, yeah, I guess I made a little hasty... It's in there, too. I wasn't really mean about gray. I was just using it as a scenario. I'm going to have to find out uh, which vegetarian gives up the most to make this fake gas we got. And then I'm going to sell that gas, fake gas, 
to the refiners for real gas. Oh, like ethanol okay. or something, right? Yes, right. Now, there's many different plants out there that do different vegetarian. Because I saw one with kudzu, I saw one with corn. I just saw them. I haven't really decided which one. My men would have, my people would have to uh, find out which one gives off the most. Right. That way we get the maximum amount of money. What people uh, do you have? What kind? How big is your uh, your uh, election committee you got there? Well, let me tell you, my friend. The uh, uh, way I am here, everyone's chicken to join me. Oh. Is that it? No, why why is that? It sounds like you got a good platform. Because, because I'm, uh, I'm for constitutional values. Um, the constitutional first, everything else is not important. And uh, uh, cops uh, invade our privacy at traffic stops because county commissioners and, uh, and county attorneys uh, are, are like a war against the citizens. Uh huh. Who says they can't? If they can't declare war, but I know one thing: if the if the higher court of the land, the Supreme Court rules in No versus Our, in case we ever need it, says looking for crimes or no knowledge at a traffic stop violates the Constitution. So, uh, so now it sounds like you're not tough on crime. What? What? Because uh, how? How are you gonna? Uh, you don't sound very pro police. Well, um, if you, you can, you cannot break the Constitution at any cost. People, our citizens, fight for the Constitution. Well, I understand that, but how will we be safe in uh, Tennessee if, without any police officers? Or, well, I I can't I can't allow city court to overrule the Supreme Court. If you overrule the Supreme Court, well, then slavery is in place under the Thirteenth. No slave state to have duly convicted criminals. Now, if city court is overruling the Supreme Court, you're not duly convicted. Uh huh. Because they, because they can't overrule the Supreme Court or any higher court than themselves. And, but being lawyers are in charge, they don't want to lose that 68% of the business. Oh. Of so, they, so they don't use the Supreme Court rulings to get us off. They make they come out here and we have the prices right. I got gotcha. you. Which store, which store do you want? And like in my hometown, there are 150 people a day go through my county court let's system. Let's make a deal. And, all of, them, and, all, and, all, and all of them are... Huh. Were violated with uh, no warrant, no, uh, could, no could, probable cause. Could I ask you something else? I, I, I understand where you're going with that. Can I understand? Uh, or can I ask you something else about um, your prior political prior political experience? Do you have any, sir? Well, I mean, I never held office, but I ran several times. I ran for governor three times, uh, Tennessee Senate four times. Uh, U.S. Congress, one Senate, one time. Oh, so you've been um, running a lot. I ran for county county commissioner. I mean, a, a Saudi Daisy commissioner, two times. I ran for mayor of Hamilton County this year. Wow. Because I figured if I run a lot. What's your what's your what? What's your military record? My, uh, my military record is I'm a fourth recon marine, the best soldier in the world. Really? I maintain the I maintain the highest. Oak to the land. What, uh, Tennessee what? Land, land and sea, domestic and foreign, against all enemies. When did you uh, serve, you sir? Deploy, when did you serve, uh, sir? 71, and I'm in court now to prove that a Marine is always a Marine and should be, shall be get paid. Because I can't protect the Constitution, according to my oath, if I don't get paid. Yeah, Except so. I volunteer. You were in 71, so were you? for the last seven years. Did you see any combat, sir? Well, actually, uh, in 71, it was just about over. I yeah. volunteered to go over to clean it up, but they sent the ones that didn't volunteer, and I, they sent me to Nicaragua. To, uh, but Language. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, well, that's speech so impairment. It, it, it gets away. Where did they send you to? They send you to Venezuela? Say again? Where did they send you to, sir? I'm sorry, you might cut out. Venezuela? I can get you sorry. Oh, where, that. where, where would, where did they send you? Since they didn't send you to Vietnam, Nicaragua. They had an earthquake, uh, earthquake there. Okay. Oh, Nicaragua. Yeah, I had, to, I had to stop people from moving, and they, uh, they took our guns from us, and we had to uh, protect the, the country with uh, uh, billy clubs, and while they had guns. Who is that? So, so, it was well, someone got shot by mistake. And they took our guns from us. So, so Someone got shot by mistake, and they took away your guns. So what'd you do with all the bullets? 
Yeah, yeah did they take away the bullets? The gun. What happened, yeah. sir? I say, when, when, you're, when you're on guard duty and you say halt and to be recognized, if you don't halt to be recognized, uh, we shoot you. Right. And some, and this, Sounds uh, like my house. The colonel, or general, the colonel or general was in civilian clothes, and he didn't halt. He was drunk. What rank did you achieve, him. sir? What rank did you achieve? Well, I'm, I'm a man's corporal. Oh, okay. I'm going in two years. Um, so, uh, yeah. so before you before you cut me off, I wanted to say oh. I want everybody to read in your area uh, the Congressional Globe, the Minister of Congress. Right. Uh, the 39th Congress, page 3841 and Congress. 42. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and starting the third column is he a Republican? of 41 and says, who are these people? Oh. Who are these people? Who are these Army people? Civilians? Right. Said, Go read about it, and you'll see who's talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm at <laughs> Freedom Jimmy, Oh, going. Jesus. Jimmy just got up. Uh, Jimmy yeah, um, doesn't like talking to Republicans. Wow, so uh, you're the Republican candidate. Uh, what? Uh, who is your... Uh, who is your um, uh, Competition there, and 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 what what, well, what is their platform? We got we got, we, we got Zach Womp, a, a, a congressman, and then we got a, a, a mayor up there, Hammond, H, and uh, he's a millionaire. Wow! And, uh, Hate them. So I'm up against some I'm up against some big people. Big I'm money. See one thing: they they don't care about your constitutional rights. I can guarantee that right now. Yeah. Uh, well, they already held they already held office, and they didn't care about our constitutional rights as when they held office. So why should they care when being governor? Well, I'll tell you, sir. Uh, I am definitely throwing my hat in the ring for you. I am uh, backing you um, in this election. Uh, you have the um, Opie and Anthony show behind you because uh, I, I like I like your platform. I like what you stand for. Uh, especially on your Second Amendment issues and your uh, Constitution issues, I think um, they're they're uh, uh, brilliant. Especially some of the ideas about the the uh, ethanol, perhaps selling it back for other gas. It just sounds great. It sounds like uh, no nonsense government. No nonsense government. What do you think of uh, President Obama, sir? I think right now he's too weak. I sent I sent him a message. Uh -oh. I to express, uh, uh, I don't express message. Oh, I bet you get a visit. <laughs> and oh, yeah. I, 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 t I told him that uh, in 1866, the country was invaded by my democracy, and he has to order everyone in the United States a republic, either a radical or a, 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 a moderate like Lincoln, because if the Congress at any time in history say we were invaded, well, then guess what? Mm. We were. Ah, what was in the FedEx uh, uh, package? Just some documents. Say, say again. What did you, you send Obama? Well, I sent him Federal Law Two Forty One. Federal Law Two Forty One. Okay. It makes Army Navy civilian a great man, immune from all crimes, including murder, above civil law. So now that that would mean anyone in the military cannot be uh, convicted or even tried for the crime of murder. Well, Actually, uh, it's only a Marine. Oh, oh, he's only Marines. Defend, he's only protect and defend the Department of our country. Uh -huh. And they said they had to make it that way because if I stood in front of the judge to remove him from my office, he would overrule me, and he should need to be scared you of me. Never, like a, a, yep. a, a, a uh, you don't want to be overruled. Of, 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 of yeah, that would suck. All right, well, yeah. I, uh, we got a lot of people are wow. on the phones right now. Uh, a lot of people want to talk to you here. Basil, Basil, listen up for a second. A lot of people want to talk to you. we got a great opportunity. we got a lot of people from Tennessee calling our show right now. They want to talk to you personally, sir. Okay. We, we say hi to Paul, uh, what's that name, man? Hargis. Paul Hargis, Paul it looks Hargis. like. Hi, Paul. How are you, sir? Oh, good. Thanks for taking my call, Gregorio. Hey, uh, is this Mr. Marceau? Yes, it is. Hi. I wanted to know, I'm 57 years young. And I didn't hear you say anything about what you're going to do for seniors. Can you repeat that just one more time, please? All right, sure. I guess it was a lot of noise that nobody else heard. What are you going to do for senior citizens? Senior citizens? Yes. All the people like myself, I'm 57 years young. She's three, but I'm 57. Okay, the only thing I can possibly do that I think would make any sense 
is make sure we have a dental plan to take care of our teeth. That's very because important. Our teeth, but what about my medication? What, I'm not, what about my medication and things of that nature? Well, if, 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 if you go on my website. Ahead, talk before I finish right away. Go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I was, I'm used to being cut off. All the people. If you go to my website, you'll see a yeah, bear. Sure. And I have a. I have I'm a. Not uh, on the internet. That's what the judge said. An insurance plan. I, think I don't know what you mean. You're saying here. your L's like W's. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you breaking up. I know, I got a bad cell connection, but I want to know what you're going to do for senior citizens and about medication well, and Medicare. Well, uh, as, a, as a governor... I ain't finished asking nothing. You're yelling at me. Okay, finish. I am. Okay, as a governor, I have no control over Medicaid. Okay, but I do have a king care package that I probably end up putting in a place where where we do away with all impact insurance that treat us like car insurance, health side, like uh, workers' compensation, work side. We're going to eliminate all that and give you insurance, and then ha have an employer uh, pay the insurance. And when they do, I'll send them free gifts made in Tennessee, which would uh, boost the tax. For the sales tax bracket and create jobs at the same time. And you don't understand. Uh, I can't afford my medication. I'm an older American. I worked hard for a, a few years, and I, I need my medication. Social Security. Well, if I put Social Security, I'll go ahead. Sorry, I wasn't was finished. It's not humiliating. Go ahead. I said if I put Tim Care back in place, you will be covered. And you have your medicine. I, I can't medicine afford myself, my medication or my lawyers. What was that what if, I can't afford medication or the legal bills or any of that jazz. And I feel like all the young people are taking everything from the old. Like well, that may be a possibility. Uh, uh, Senior citizens would be the first the first uh, people I would check on because uh, I'm 57 myself. If I'm oh, 57, happy, I will happy birthday! I'm 57 years young. Young, okay. Uh, sure, you know you got to think young. I like to see an older citizen running for office. It gives us all a little bit of hope, you know. Yes. So. Uh, that's about the best I can do. When I get on office, I'm going to think of citizens, senior citizens first. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, I just know if I got taken care about the way I want it, sure. it will be covered. Sometimes you put a little milk on the tip, and she goes right for it. But I have, but I'll, but I'll have sin and make her sleep. I'm just saying, I mean, 100%. You understand that, right? I, I know I'm a little confused. The whole politics thing... It makes me a little loopy, but I just know that I don't feel protected as an American. And, and, and it just seems like President Obama and all these other finaglers don't take care of the old. Well, I was you, almost it, it a Marine, with Rock too. Obama. They wouldn't let me be a it Marine. It Barack Obama. It started way before him, 144 Ooh. years ago. He's not that old. I said it didn't start with him. It started 140 years ago and, and came here. Who's Tim? I'm going much. I don't know what you're saying. Sometimes the one the letter president. sounds like the other one. It's not. It's not all the president's fault. It's been doing the same thing for the last 145 <laughs> years since July 16th, 1866, and it just mushroomed into a nightmare this last campaign. But how come you want to take guns away that, that people can't defend defend themselves when you try to pick someone up in a van and there's all these meddlers? I don't want to take guns away. I want everyone to have a gun without 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 the, the numbers on the bullets. You ever get crib marks on your thighs? I heard you say something. I didn't hear you. Mm. 
I got crib marks on my thighs. You got thread marks in your thighs? Yeah, you can't get the smell of Desinex out of your face. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, sometimes they giggle. I hope someone rubs, I hope someone rubs those things off your thighs uh, because uh, you keep them there, you may get a blood clot. Yeah, you don't want that. No. I didn't give another caller. Uh, yeah. uh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be boring. All right. I, 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 uh, hold on. Yeah, let me put I, Paul on hold, and let me try to see if there's another caller on the line yeah. here. You, um, uh, Let's get back to Basil Marceau, who's um, uh, running for governor in Tennessee, right, in sir? In Tennessee. Uh, yeah. And, and US, U.S. Congress number three, too, at the same time. Wow. That's crazy. You are really doing things. How, do you, uh, how have you earned a living over the years, sir? Uh, what were some of the jobs you've uh, held? Well, I've been self-employed most of all my life. I do importing. In, uh, import, export. I'm a, Latex? I'm, I'm disabled right now, so I know what that guy's talking about. Vandalay Industries. Uh, Vandalay? Yeah, Vandalay uh -huh. Industries. I, did a, I, did a lot of, um, I still do importing. I start, I Anthony, we got Steve uh, 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 Basil. We uh -huh. got another phone call coming in. Very urgent here. We got a guy named Steve from uh, Yellowstone, Tennessee. Steve. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to know, what do you, why do you think that, that guns are going to be the answer? It just seems to me like that's going to perpetuate more violence against people with alternative views. I'm, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'm, my, uh, I must have missed you there. Can you repeat that question, please? That's okay. My stomach is staples. I wanted to know, what about the guns are going to just cause more violence, are they not? Why are you allowing more guns? I don't understand why you would want to perpetuate more violence. Hmm. Okay, like, like, I said, like I said in Florida speech, I didn't write I the Constitution. I wasn't there. I was talking to Corey in Australia. I, I didn't write the Constitution. I'm just a force recon Marine who's supposed to protect the Constitution under the U.S. Code, uh, Chapter 1, Title 1, Chapter 2, and the page that has three of the eyes on it says, that for protect and defend of the country is supposed to protect the Constitution. I was wearing that bullets in my hiney. I'm sorry. I'm not a you again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not to repeat. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I'm immediately. <laughs> come back, come back, Johnny. Yes. Hey, I'm sorry, I can't hear the guy. Women saying. with hysterectomies uh, are better producers than I am. Get it? <laughs> I just want you to for me, and let me turn Tennessee a republic. I'm the wearing a time in our since, 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 since we're born. Uh, <laughs> Any, uh, the Constitution says... All states I want to thank Steve for yes. the phone call. That was terrific. Any, any thoughts yeah. of uh, seceding from the Union, sir, because of your views? Well, actually, uh, if you really look at it correctly, if you read Federal Law 241, Congressional Court, 39 Congress, page 3841 and 42, uh, a Republican form of government says the now dominant party invades her. So uh, if the Constitution is still a dead letter, which we know, we know it is, well, then that means the enemy is still here. So oh. I'm not proceeding from the union. I just want the union to be here. Right, right. As, 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 the, as, the, fathers, mm. as the fathers in the past died. And based on 1866. That's what, and that started in 1866 when they reformed our government. Yeah, exactly. And, never told and never said a word about it. Let's go to Chip on line 10. We'll take one more we'll, we'll, we'll take one more call uh, uh, Mr. Marceau. Let's uh, go to uh, Chip uh, on, on line 10 here. Chris, I've been holding on for so long. I feel like I'm uh, I'm feel like I'm too hundred years old, you know. I, I just wanted to know uh, where your stance is like on the war and stuff like that cuz you know it's a whole bunch of stuff going on, you know. It's just, it's just... Warrants? Did you say warrants? No, the war that's I'm going on. I'm, the war, no, no, no. This, this, this guy's oh, the war. Here, this guy hears like I like I jump over bridges and stuff. I'm sorry. Some place that's okay. Place, <laughs> I wanted to know we, one more time. The war in Afghanistan and stuff like that. You know, I just want to know where you stand on the whole war and stuff. You know, because I I pontificate about that a lot. You know, dude. Are, 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 are you sitting down, sir? 
Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm just kind of standing here. I got my iPad, boom, right okay. in the bag. Get a house. Okay. okay, I want to let you sit down so when I tell you this, you won't fall down and hurt yourself. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to fall down. I fell down, bang my head. That's what they all tell me. They go, Chippy, you okay. bang your head. I'm like, no. yeah, does. <laughs> Hey, I am the best soldier in the world, a force we call Marine. If you don't believe me, believe me, you can call the Commandant yourself and ask him, and my hope is for life. If I say a flag leading to the flag, and I say it's America, to a republic which you stand, and I take the flag into a Republican Constitution, and I stand on a republic, then they send me into a country that is republic and kill them to make them a democracy. I know one thing, I don't stand for that. Mm. What about you? I'll say, and so all, you my, pretty... all my voters out there. <laughs> Somebody once told me if you don't stand for something, you're gonna, you, you probably you're gonna fall for some other stuff. I don't know exactly what it was, but you gotta no, stand up and no. be tall. Bless your shorts, you know, no, something no, like that. The important thing is, <laughs> everyone has to know why, why I'm so radical. You know why I'm so radical? Anyone out there tell you why I'm so radical? Why are you radical? Uh, because they own it. Because. <laughs> no, because I was driving down the road one day in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and a cop put a gun to my face, the best soldier in the world, and pulled my passenger out of the car, who was a Navy SEAL, Rambo, and they yanked him out the door and kicked him in the nose. <laughs> and, and, and I told him, hey, that guy, that guy's a Navy SEAL, stop kicking him. And they kept kicking him. And then me, you sure they weren't clubbing him? So, <laughs> so I went to court. Uh, I, didn't, I was swimming, didn't have my wallet with me went to court, and the judge said it was okay for him to put that gun in my face. And to my concern, I said, well, they're both idiots. So that's not the law. So I went, why was he, and why was he beating the seal? And, and, say again, and that happened every day. So now, what would happen if the Supreme Court ruled cops can't have guns at traffic stops? I, I don't and know. Shoot someone. Tell me. <laughs> hey, I, I can tell you. There's 18,645. <laughs> Dead bodies, dead bodies at traffic stops by cops who's not supposed to have a gun. And meter maybe put in place. <laughs> and I was ten years ago, and by ten more years there'll be another eighteen thousand if I don't stop it. Ten years plus and ten I'm years that equals eleven years. <laughs> <laughs> so what about eleven years? What's that? What'd you say about eleven years? I don't know. You're saying a whole bunch of years. I'm like, what do I know about years? I ain't no good at math. You know, I'm just chipper. My mother's got some friends over. Yeah. Now, so if the Supreme Court says no, and county court says do yes, and they find me guilty, and they take the money, is that good money or bad money? Bad? <laughs> Money's just green. That's all I know. It's like me, green with envy, in, chipper. In, in Tennessee, it's 86. Well, you're unstoppable. He said, hey, six million dollars, and that's just full teammates. <laughs> well, then, then you have the lawyer fees. Yeah. Lawyer fees, like a freight train. Fees, city court fees, <laughs> their sales tax. Uh, they got some uh, farmers in, insurance and the, uh, on, on those court tickets. And they, when you pay a court fine, you, hey, you got 10 or 15 different fees you pay there. Oh. Yeah, but what about the lawyers? They take the biggest amount of fees. Sure they do. Oh, she tells you she's the same age. Then you find out she's one. Then what do you do? When I read this law, I tell you what you do. Another page. It said that group. All right. Well, we want to thank Chip for calling. Uh, yeah, Chip did a great job. Absolutely. Yeah, I almost blew the whole thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 of course no, not, not at all, uh, Chip. Chip. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Basil Marceau. In closing. What? If the lawyer does not use Supreme Court ruling to get us off, that makes him a racketeer and a, uh, a racketeer on the RICO where uh, two men out along the road in disguise collecting money. Right. Yeah, which should be all, all the money they're stealing from overruling the Supreme Court and higher oh, court decisions. Exactly. They, they need to be arrested and, and redone. You know how many and people... Under my, under my, you know how many new law. people think the same way you're thinking right now? I've talked to so many people, and they... Well, everyone in the country. Yeah, they say the same thing. Uh, I'm amazed. I love the, I love your platform. Put your microphone in Tennessee. You have Put your my... microphone in Tennessee. You have my endorsement here. Uh, you have the endorsement of this program. Uh, we're going to push for you. Excuse me. Hey, um, what was that? What was that? What was that? Out of call. That's what I mean. Meanwhile... I wanted you to say, after the election's over, don't forget about me, because I'm going to have a, it has to keep on going. 
they're gonna run again and, and next time around. I'll, well, I'll what if you win? What if you what if you win this time? You got to think positive. You're gonna win right. this time. Well, I mean, I'm ready to go. How do the polls look? I have a matter of fact, I, if I get my probably one of the sucky things I probably do is uh, reduce my staff by a lot, and then uh, put ten or fifteen percent in charge, and then work it up and redo everything because. If, if, if one person involved was stealing that money, they all got to go, don't they? They certainly do. You're right. The corruption is uh, just astounding. But the, bad, but, the bad, but the bad thing about it is the people that don't put me in office are the ones that are corrupt. Right. The so and the, and the House. So what do so you do I about need, that? I, I, well, not me. I need everyone that never voted before in their entire lives to come out there in swamps. So I win so... So, it's so many people. Enough vote. already. So, it's, so it's a mandate. So it's a mandate. Yes. Yes. Basil, what's the um, big plug? We got it. Radio ba stations down there in Tennessee. Uh, I like to see you uh, hook up to them and, and blast uh, my message. Yes. Yes, we blasted the message today. We so will. Uh, where do they go for more info on uh, the Basil Marceau? Uh, you see, talk to my website. I normally put everything up there. All right, basilmarceau.com. Basilmarceau.com. All right. Yes, say sir. Say, say, federal court. Look, look at my federal court case in Chattanooga. Basil Marceau against Chattanooga. It's got the federal court yeah, case going. Is over, Red Bank is, is, uh, is, is, is a concave government, as stated in the Constitution. Right. Just let them roll. I'm cleaning up. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So, yeah. Everyone in America, vote for Basil and, tell, and pass the word. Vote for Basil Marceau. For governor of Tennessee, you have my vote, Maybe. sir. What What else can you tell us about uh, Tennessee or something? I'm out of here. Say again? Yeah. What uh? What, what? Tell us a little bit about your pride in the state of Tennessee. A little Tennessee pride. Pride. Yeah, yeah. What okay. are you proud of about I'm the state? Well, I, I like the incline. Uh, I like See the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um. Um. I, I love how it, how it just the air smells. Um, I like it. We have no state tax, and it probably stay that way if I'm governor. Um, um, and well, I'll tell you one thing I really don't like is that the legislation plaza they have a military park in there. Hey, they got me the best soldier in the world plus my three friends. Hey, we're four foot high, but you know I look six foot in front of me. I see another soldier, but he's eight foot, looking like Rambo. Who is it? Anybody going to guess? Hey, it's a Greek soldier. Why am I, the best soldier in the world, submissive to a Greek soldier? He shouldn't even be there at all. It's my military part. That means democracy invaded our country 140 years ago, and it's time to switch it back. So all T10 members, T party members, Come call, call me and call them. Call a federal law 241. This, am, I, am I off? Am I off?